Hello, hello, welcome to this MCAT study vlog. Today is January 8th, and so yesterday was two weeks until I retake the MCAT exam. And it's also currently, I use winter break still, so I have almost no other responsibilities, which is honestly why I chose to retake it right after winter break, because I knew that I would just have these couple of weeks off of school to solely study for the MCAT. So if you'd like to see what full-time MCAT preparation looks like, just keep watching. Okay, hello again. I just finished getting ready for the day and now I have my to-do list of what I want to do during these last two weeks of preparation for the exam pulled up. I made it on Notion this time because I just found out about Notion like this last semester and it seems kind of great. So the first thing that I want to do today is actually go through my Anki cards. I took all this time to make all of the information in all of these books into Anki cards and then I'm going to do a full exam but like section by section so not like with the full time constraint one after the other or anything. Just like do it, take a break, do a section, take a break. Which I know is how the exam is set up. Section break, section break. I know that. I just want longer breaks in between doing each section today to make my day a little less unpleasant. So I'm just going to take my laptop downstairs to avoid the temptation of getting back into my bed, which is like right there from my desk, and try to do 250 new and 220 do MCAT cards this morning. cards than I usually get through. It's like 11.30 now, so we're doing good. And I promised myself that I could get Starbucks if I made it through all of my Anki cards today. So that is what we're gonna do next. Okay, I'm back from Starbucks. I got the pistachio latte, which I think is new because I didn't know that it existed before today, but it's actually delicious. And now I am going to make lunch. Clearly I used all of my remaining brain power on those flashcards because making my normal lunch, pasta and veggies, I was like, why does it smell so awful in here? It's because I melted this little spatula that was sitting here onto the burner that I was using to boil the water for my pasta. And now it smells awful in here. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually back to working in my room now because it smells so awful downstairs. The like stench of plastic is one that like hits you in the back of the throat when you breathe in. So I am going to do the chemical and physical foundations part of the exam upstairs now. So I finished the physical and chemical foundation section of the exam and I'm pretty happy because I actually did better on it than I did when I took the exam the first time and I still want to improve before I like actually retake the exam but good progress and now it's like four and the stove that I used to cook lunch and made that mess in the kitchen is probably no longer hot so I should start scrubbing. I've been scrubbing at this for like 10 minutes and there is still plastic on my stove. I don't really know what else to do. Sorry, Dad. Still upset about the stove, but back at the kitchen table to do a car section before dinner. Finished the car section fairly quick. It only took me about an hour and I did as well as I would want to on the actual MCAT exam. And while I was taking the exam, my brother dropped off his new puppy because she stays here while he's at work sometimes. And she is so cute. Okay, you're so cute. Hi. But I think I'll probably be done with MCAT work for the night because we're gonna have dinner soon and then I like to just kind of relax in the evening. If anything, I'll do the psych social section of the exam that I've been working through today. I just 
had dinner and watched Criminal Minds, which I've been a bit too obsessed with lately, but it was a good little end of the day relaxing, and now I'm just gonna get ready for bed so that the studying can continue tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe!